All right, so I'm going to go ahead and explain how you use filters in Make. Um, essentially, what filters allows you to do is you can be a little bit more technical with the uh, automations that you're making because it lets you create these conditions between modules. And so to better explain that, I have two modules again, one uh, for watch module for watch messages and a second one for a reply to a message. And so basically the situation I've set up is that if you uh, work and you're really busy and say you get messages from people asking you for stuff, right? And you wanna just automatically reply to them letting you know that you're looking for it and to give them t give have them give you time to find it, right? And so if I go ahead and go to the watch messages module, you'll see that it's set up so that it looks for all messages within this mail folder from myself. Um, and I set the limit to one for simplicity's sake. Um, it'll look for all the messages from me in that folder and it'll automatically reply to that message and uh, with that same subject because it's a reply and it has the body content of, hey, please give me 20 minutes to find what you're looking for. Thank you. And I unfortunately can't do anything about this space, so please ignore it. And then right here for recipients, I have it set to the uh, sender's email address. And to do that, you just go here in this um, list of different uh, bundles for the, um, ooh, excuse me, for the first module. And if you look for sender, you'll find it right here. So it'll be a drop down. So you click sender's arrow, email address arrow, and you can have the name and the address of that person. So I can go ahead and put in the address here and I can go ahead and put in the name here. And if you wanna be a little more technical, right? A little bit more creative, you can actually take the name and put it here as well. And so it'll say, hey, that person's name, please give me 20 minutes to find me looking for it. Now, typically it'll have their first and last name, so it'll be a little extra formal, but um, you know, it is something that you can go ahead and throw on there just to make it a little bit more, uh, or a little bit less robotic-y. And so to explain filters, I add a filter by clicking the settings tool right here and clicking set up a filter. And what this allows me to do is it allows me to essentially create almost like a, a filter, a pass through where it, I can only this auto or this module will go through to this module as long as this filter, oops, sorry, as long as this filter um, checks out. And so when I set it up, Basically, there's a condition that you uh, can have and you can have multiple different conditions. So right now I have three, but I'm going to go ahead and go back to one because we only want to have one right now. And what I want the condition to be is usually when somebody is asking you for something, they'll have a question mark in their email. So I want to see I want the condition to be that the body preview. So the body of the email. And I go to text operators and I go to contains. You can see there's a bunch of different ones, but we're gonna go ahead and go to text operators because it's text. And we wanna go to contains. And then we wanna just type in a question mark. Very easy. And you can label it up here to whatever you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and put contains question mark and hit okay. And you can see this lets us know that the filter is right here and active. And of course, make sure you save your module, make sure you save your uh, scenario. And I'm going to go ahead and run it. And so once that happens, I'll get an email over here. And you can see that there is a email from myself that I sent from me saying, hey, and then my name, please give me 20 minutes to find what you're looking for. Thank you. And there are ways to edit this text and make it so that uh, these appear on different lines. But uh, for the sake of simplicity, we won't go through that just yet right now. But you can see if we look into the bundles for each module, it finds the email that I'm talking about in the um, in the message folder, and I'll go ahead and show you guys which uh, which email that is. So if I go to this messages for James folder right here, or from James, I only have one in there for the tutorial, but it says, "Hey, when when you have the doc ready, right?" So if I go over to here, you can see that because everything went through, even it even gives me a bundle for the filter, which is pretty cool. And uh, it shows me the body preview right here. And you can see that it does indeed have the um, the question mark, which is perfect. And so it successfully checks out because here you can see the email was successfully sent to the sender saying, hey, James, please give me 20 minutes to find what you're looking for. Thank you. So hopefully that is a clear explanation on filters.